Okay, let's talk about rest-based training and why it is so important. Here's an interesting thing. When you think about training, think about this on a bell-shaped curve. Essentially, what most people think is they think they have to exercise for a long period of time or as frequently as possible or as intensely as possible, right? Isn't that what we all think? If we can go 60 minutes, why not? If we can go 90 minutes, why not? If we need to train as much as we can, as hard as we can, as long as we can, right? The problem is, is that too little exercise, we know that's not great. But what we also now know is that too much exercise is not that great either. In other words, exercise can really be taken too far. What we really want is we want to get up here at the top of the bell-shaped curve, the Goldilocks effect. Not too much, not too little, but just right. That's hard to manage or has been up until this point because everyone is a little bit different. I might do one style of workout and get crushed while you breeze through it. You might do my workout and get crushed while I breeze through it. Everyone's intensity is a little bit different. So rest-based training allows us to individualize the intensity for every single person so they can maximize the effects and really get into that Goldilocks zone. Avoid doing too little and avoid doing too much. And remember, the idea is to push until you can't, rest until you can. And so we have what we call the B's and the H's, but here we have two B's and one H that are important. Breathless, burn, and heavy. And so ultimately with rest-based training, what we're doing is we're pushing these different aspects. If you're at a breathless-based workout, the idea is to push as hard as you can until you get so breathless you have to stop. And then you rest as long as necessary. You might need less rest than I do, or I may need less rest than you. But I can, we can both optimize our intensity. We stop, we rest, we get our breath back, we go again. We push until we can't, we rest until we can. Same thing with the burn. If we're doing an exercise that burns our muscles, you might stop before I do. I might stop before you do, but we're optimizing the intensity for our individual metabolism. And it's the same thing with heavy. If we're doing push-ups, you might stop and feel the strain before I do, or vice versa, and this optimizes the training effect for every person. So the idea is push until you can't, rest until you can, and try to avoid being one of these overdoers. You, it's not harder and more, it's smarter and better. And so that's what we wanna be thinking about with rest-based training.